Hi, it's Wendy Hernandez with Command the Courtroom. In this week's video, I'm going to talk about another question that I received from one of my viewers. In this week's question, my viewer was wondering, since she's representing herself in her own family law case, how it is that she conducts a direct examination of herself when she's presenting her case in chief. In other words, she's wondering, does she actually have to ask herself a question and then answer it? Or is there some other way that she can present the evidence to the judge to get her points across? That's a really great question. And actually, a lot of people representing themselves have that same question. And the answer is that you don't necessarily have to <laughs> sit there and ask yourself a question and then answer. What I usually see, or what, I, what I've seen always actually, is people getting on the stand and testifying in a narrative format about whatever it is that they want the judge to hear. So that sounds really easy, right? And it should be if you're organized. So getting organized means preparing the, the areas that you want to address with the court in advance of your trial. And it actually starts at the very beginning of the case. When I'm coaching clients and people who are representing themselves in family court, the first thing that I tell them to do at the very beginning of their case is to get clear on what it is that they want, whether it's sole decision making or joint decision making or sole custody or joint custody, what sort of parenting time arrangement that they want, the child custody or child support orders that they want, if there's um, issues over the division of property and debt, what is it that they want? Once the client is clear, or once you're clear on whatever your goals are for the case, then you start to build that case around those goals. And it's really gonna help you when it comes time for trial, because when you're trying to figure out what you need to present to the judge, at the top of the list is, you have to center all of your presentation of the evidence and the testimony around your goals. So your goals are actually um, your main areas and you organize everything according to those main areas. So say, for example, you're asking for sole custody or sole decision making in your case. Well, under that major area, when you are on the stand, you have to be sure and talk with the judge about all the reasons why you think sole custody or sole decision making is in your children's best interest. So under the heading of custody, the issue of custody, you bullet point all of those areas along with the evidence that you're going to present or you're going to try to admit as evidence in support of your position. So I, to this day, after practicing law for about 20 years and doing family law for 17 years, I still outline all of my direct examination of my, direct examinations of my witnesses, um, but I even go further than that. I read out the actual questions that I'm going to ask each witness. So, um, although you're not going to be asking yourself a question, maybe to get prepared, act like you're going to ask yourself the questions on the stand and write out the questions and then imagine, um, visualize the answers that you want to give the judge in the courtroom. Have your notes with you, study your notes. The judge is not going to let you read from those notes while you're on the stand. But if you forget um, to hit a point or you forget your, what you're going to say, if you ask the judge to refresh your recollection, that, or if you tell the judge that you need to refresh your recollection, the judge should let you look at the notes so you don't, you're sure not to miss anything. So that's kind of the long answer, but the short answer is no, you're not going to ask yourself a question and then answer the question while on the stand. You're just going to set up on the stand and tell the court, first, Your Honor, I want to address the area of custody. And I am asking for sole custody. The reasons I'm asking for sole custody are, and then A, B, C, D, E, and all of the, you present all of the evidence in support of those reasons. I hope this video helped. Keep on trucking. And until next week, remember to command the courtroom. And don't forget to like us on Facebook, subscribe to my YouTube channel, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, and I'll see you soon.